Meanwhile, Shinzo Abe, Japanese Prime Minister, is using Barack Obama's visit to Hiroshima as another attempt to whitewash the country's war crimes. He said Shinzo Abe has been pushing for a stronger military alliance with the United States. The Prime Minister helped pass a series of security bills last year, which will allow Japan's military to intervene overseas to defend its allies. Yoshino also said the state secrecy bill passed by the lower house in 2014 is aimed at boosting intelligence sharing with the U.S. The professor says these measures were welcomed by Washington but met with strong opposition in Japan. By inviting Obama to Hiroshima, Abe is showing both Japan and the world that the relationship between Japan and the U.S. has been strengthened. This is the message that he intends to send out, especially when a visit to Hiroshima takes place after the G7 meeting. That is the key. However, if Obama apologizes, it will also send the wrong message to the international community that Japan, the only country that suffered an atomic bombing, is not a offender, just a victim of war.